welcome back to our latest player development session. Today we're looking at an individual session that players can use on their own in the garden or maybe even inside the house with a smaller softer ball. We know we don't have much space at home so we're going to be looking at a small space, lots of touching. Today we're working on a weak foot session, helping you improve that weaker side of your body. I would class myself as both footed. My right foot though is slightly stronger than my left, my right side is my natural side. Now with my left foot, one of the harder things to do when you're playing on your weaker side is actually move the ball with smaller touches, manipulating it where you want it to go and being assertive. And we're going to do that today in our individual training session that you can use at home and practice throughout the week. To start we're doing outside inside touches, knees bent, chest forward, push the ball out, bring it back in, 30 seconds. If we go a little bit longer, not a problem, but we're looking at controlled touches, getting the ball where you want to, don't go outside of the square. Ten. Keep that control, five seconds. And stop it there, good. So it's all about those steady touches. Now we're going to focus on a little roll on the studs. So we roll it, we're going to stop and then push it back across. Getting the control on the ball. Try and have a little drop of the shoulder. But the main aspect is taking that ball away with the outside of the boot and the roll at the start of the drill. Get the grip on the ball. Be assertive with it when you're pushing it into the space. Okay, good. It's about keeping control of that ball, putting it where you want it to go. As a progression, we're adding in an inside touch now. So you roll it, you stop it and drop that shoulder out, in. So you keep our knees bent, chest forward, get the ball going across our body. Drop that shoulder as well. Little changes of direction. Keep those feet moving. Keep dropping that shoulder. Chest facing forward. there good it's all about those smaller touches on the ball keep them small keep them steady and you're building the foundations of developing your weaker side we're going to just look at the L turn so we're going to go roll stop L turn step off it touch back into the start roll step L turn step off it touch back into the start as you can see we're dropping the shoulder a bit here and then taking it. Moving your feet, getting your body round the ball. Not hitting that ball too far out of your feet, keeping it under control. So we can move round to onto that left side again. You can stop it or you can continue straight away with the outside of the foot. Don't mind, just get used to rolling it on that left side. Relax there. It's all about getting that grip on the ball. So we're going to try and add progressions into it. Combinations of what we've done already. So as we start here, chest forward, knees bent again. I roll it and I stop it and I get into my L. Then it's out, in, out, and I'm back to the start. I want to get coordinated on the ball. I want to move my feet and eventually go quicker as I feel more comfortable.
you'll make mistakes. Mistakes aren't a bad thing at all, especially when you're trying hard. Mistakes aren't a problem when you're not trying hard. So try hard, make mistakes, shows that you're challenging yourself and raising the bar. You'll get better by challenging yourself. And this weak foot session really helps with that. 10 more seconds. And relax there. So the small touches do a lot of work on the thighs. We've got to focus on keeping control while we're tired. Okay, for the next one, little in, out touches. My first touch is in, second is out. I'm making sure I'm sharp on the ball. I'm moving my feet quickly. And if you have a look at my right foot, it's always moving. It's never standing completely still. So I want two little touches. I don't put that left foot down until after I complete my two touches. So it's a sharp little in out. Ten seconds. And relax it there. So what we're trying to do there is make sure we keep moving. If you keep moving, everything else becomes a bit easier. If we stand still, it's a lot more tricky. So we're actually adding a step over into this next one. The step over is going to be on the right foot, but it's our left foot doing the work on the ball. You want to have the coordination to quickly change direction but still practice that left footed skill. So we're going in, out, step over, take. Now I'm back in again. So go in, out, step over, take. Now I'm back in. In, out, step over, take. Always get back into the middle. In, out, step over, take. I'm using my left foot to take that ball, keeping it under control. It's all about those small touches, getting the grip on the ball, getting that coordination with your step over and bringing it back to your left foot. Start again keeping it under control. You might hit it too far at times, don't worry. Keep your control on the ball. Keep your balance. It's that left foot that's taking the ball, that's doing the work. Right foot's just making that happen with the quick step over. 10 seconds. We'll do one more private a little break. It's important we're keeping control on that ball. So it's another combination for this next one. We're trying to move those feet quickly. It's our left foot doing the majority of the work again. The right foot is moving the whole time. So I roll it, I stop, I step in, out, and I get back across to the start here. So roll, stop, step, in, out, and I'm back across to the start. Making sure it's a quick change of direction keeping control of the ball. We're having a little drop of the shoulder as well. To sort of lure that defender in and then push past. Keeping it in the square if we can. Doesn't have to be a big touch on the inside of your foot. It can be just a gentle one allowing you to flick it. And relax there. Good. What we're going to have is a minute's break. Catch your breath. We've done lots of touches on the weak side. We should be feeling a little bit more confident in moving that ball. During this one minute's break, we just want to make sure we're catching our breath, getting a feeling back again, get a little bit of bounce back in your legs. On that weaker side, it's really hard to position the ball and move it where you want it to go every single time. There will be mistakes. That is not a problem. As I sort of mentioned earlier, a mistake isn't a problem if you're trying hard. Mistakes happen when you're trying hard because you're going at a level that maybe you haven't been able to do before. You're pushing yourself past your comfort zone. But mistakes are a problem if we're going slowly, we're not putting the effort in. So if you're going hard, putting the effort in and making a few mistakes, that is actually a good thing because it's showing that you're trying to push yourself past the level you're at and you'll soon become a much better player. Okay, for our start of our second half of this, we're going with an out-in touch, a 
step over our strong foot and then we start again. So we go out, in, step over and we start again. See how I'm just moving the ball sharply. I'm dropping my shoulder, my feet are moving and I'm keeping it under control. It's actually my left foot doing most of the work. My right is just well coordinated to get that step over it. Basically I'm aiming at positioning the ball in the middle of my body. So I'm setting myself up to be able to do the rest of the drill. And this is part of the training for today. It's being assertive, being able to manipulate that ball and put it where you want it to go. Keep focusing on that touch on the ball. And relax. Go on to our next one, we've got a little L turn coming into this. So we're looking at making sure we're assertive with the ball when we push to the side. L turn and we stop it. As we stop it, we step over and we're back in to the whole drill again. I'm making sure I'm steady. The outside of my boot is taking the ball to the outside nice and comfortably. My right foot is stopping the ball here. But that's all I'm doing in touching the ball with my strong side. The main part of this is the L turn and this part here, the drop of the shoulder, I'm pushing it out of your body. So for here, we're just looking at a roll and a touch on the outside of the boot. We're doing it nice and sharp and making sure our body weight is slightly forward. So roll, touch, roll, touch. Making sure we have the control and pushing it back in the direction that it's come straight away. Now what's important is we bend this standing leg here, allowing us to have the room to shift that ball back across the other side of our body. It's about having grip, being assertive with that ball and moving your feet. 10 seconds. Again, bend those knees, we're going roll, and we're going a quick double touch back in. So one, two, back in. Making sure we're having that grip and confidence to move our feet, move our body, and get the ball under control. Keep moving that standing foot, that right foot. For me, keep your balance and change the direction. Be assertive with that football. 10 more seconds. And relax it there. Our grip on the ball's improving, and we're being more assertive, manipulating it and putting it where exactly we want it to go. Okay, so with this one here, we're starting in the middle, we're moving the ball across to the right side more. We're gonna add in a little step over, a little change of direction, but again, it's that left foot doing all of the work. So we're here, quick step, and we're back in. It's only a little touch on the outside of the boot here, allowing us to keep the ball central and perform the step over. seconds and relax there good we're getting the grip we're getting the balance and also the coordination bringing the drop of the shoulder and the change of direction into play so we're just doing two more now to finish off strongly we look at a change of direction still on that weak foot the whole time so we're using that roll and touch again Roll, touch, push, little chop, back into the middle. 
well touched push, little chop back into the middle. Getting that change of direction. Hopefully teaching us to move away from the opponent even when you're on your weaker foot. seconds keeping that chop going keeping that touch going nicely so for our last one it's a progression so you're going out in touch cross, and then back into the start again after a step over so out in push it little chop step over and we're off again Thanks for watching guys, keep using that weaker foot, keep practicing getting more touches on the ball and this session here will really help you with that. Please like and subscribe, feel free to share wherever you like, hit the little alarm box next to the subscription button and you'll be notified of any, every single YouTube video that we release. Thanks again and we'll see you later this week for more individual sessions.